Okay, so let's discuss the different parts of a compound microscope. As of today, there are many types of microscopes that can be used according to the object that needs to be seen. However, the compound microscope is the one often used in schools. Here are the parts of the compound microscope and their functions. Okay, so first, the eyepiece. So eyepiece is also known as the ocular lens. So the eyepiece allows the viewer to look at the enlarged image of the specimen. Next, draw tube. So the main function of draw tube is to support the eyepiece. And next, the course adjustment knob. So the course adjustment knob focuses the specimen under the low power objective. And next, the fine adjustment knob. The fine adjustment knob focuses the specimen under the high power objective. And next, we have revolving nose piece. Revolving nose piece allows the shifting of the objectives from the low power objectives to the high power objectives. And next, the objectives. So objectives, we have low power objective or the LPO and the high power objective or the HPO. We also have medium power objective or the middle portion. So the low power objectives allows you to see the general view of the specimen while the high power objectives allows you to see the detailed parts of the specimen. Next, we have stage. So stage, this is where the glass slide is mounted or placed. Then we have stage clip. So stage clip holds the glass slide in place. And then diaphragm. Diaphragm regulates the amount of light that will pass through the stage. And then we have mirror. So mirror reflects the light onto the specimen for viewing. And then arm. So arm allows you to hold the microscope to transfer the microscope from one place to another. And then, of course, inclination joint. So, inclination joint allows you to tilt the microscope into different angles. And then, the base. So, base supports the entire body of the microscope.